welcome. Welcome to the course of certification of organic production and geographical indication. Uh, in this lecture, I will speak about a regulation 889 of 2008 of European Commission which is a regulation and it is an implementation regulation of uh, the other regulation, 834 of 2007. Um, here we are in the second part of this lecture and uh, we will continue further to explain the regulation, the implementation rules of regulation 889 of 2008. I prefer to remind again uh, which are the um, sections of this uh, lecture. Title I provisions, Title II rules of production and processing. In fact, uh, in this part, we'll speak about rules of production and processing. I mean, one part of it, because one part of it I explained in the previous lecture, and uh, it is not concluded yet. So we'll continue in the next lecture to speak about rules of production and processing. Just to remind uh, or to have a general explanation, uh, which is the structure of this regulation. In this regulation, as I explained previously, there are five titles, 22 chapters in total, and uh, 97 articles. Uh, title one, uh, which is uh, titled provisions, has two articles is a short title. Title two, um, rules of production and processing. This title includes seven chapters and 54 articles. As you see, it is the longest title. Well, title three is uh, titled labeling. It includes three chapters and six articles. Title four, controls, includes eight chapters and 30 articles. And at the end, there is title five, information and final provisions. It has two chapters and five articles. Part of regulation 889 of 2008, there are some annexes. There are 14 annexes. Um, they um, are linked to different titles. So when I will treat title and we explain the corresponding and present the corresponding annex for each title. So, oh, um, have a nice study. We'll continue with the first title and second title, Provisions and Rules of Production and Processing. Here uh, you have the link. Uh, you have the link or uh, the URL. Uh, where you can can find and can download the regulation. However, I wanted to remind you here, except the the uh, link I have uh, presented in the previous slide, you have to check in the repository because you will have these regulations there in order to be easier for you to find them and not lose time to go to search in the 
European Commission um, link. So let's start with provisions and rules of production and processing. So in Title II, uh, the chapter to livestock production, starting with Article 7, scope. This chapter lays down detailed production rules for the following species. Bovine, including Boabolus and Bison, Equidae, Porcine, Ovin, Caprine, Poultry, species as mentioned in Annex 3 of Regulation 889-2008 and Bees. Continual Title II, Rules of Production, Processing, Packaging, Transport and Storage of Organic Products. Let's start with Section 1, Origin of Animals, with Article 8, Origin of Organic Animals. So the question is how to choose breeds or strains. In the choice of breeds or strains, account shall be taken capacity of animals to adapt to local conditions, vitality, resistance to disease with the scope or with the objective to avoid specific diseases or health problems characteristic of breeds in intensive production set, such as protein stress syndrome, PS, uh, uh, PSE. And the other uh, objective, avoiding spontaneous abortion and difficult birth. Abator in one region, in one um, territory, and there are indigenous breeds. For bees, preference shall be given to the use of Apis mellifera and their local ecotypes. Article 9, origin of non-organic animals. So when there are not available organic animals, how to uh, create the herd? So uh, referring to Article 14, Lives of Production Rules of Regulation 834 of 2007, constitution of a flock of a herd. Non-organic animals to be brought onto the holding only if organic ones are not available. And uh, beside this, they must be reared organically immediately after their weaning. Restriction shall apply at the date on which the animals enter the herd. Buffalo, calves and fowls shall be less than six months old. Lambs and kids shall be less than 60 days old. Piglets shall weigh less than 35 kilograms. Non-organic adult male and nulliparous female mammal, mammals for the renewal of a herd of or flock shall be reared uh, subsequently in accordance with the organic production rules. Moreover, the number of female mam mammals is subject to the following restriction per year. A. Up to a maximum of 10% of adult equine or bovine, including bobulus and bison species, livestock, and 20% of the adult porcine, ovine, and caprine livestock as female animals, for units with, with less than 10 equine or bovine animals, or with less than 5 porcine, ovine, or caprine animals, any renewal shall be limited to a maximum of one animal per year. The percentages referred previously may be increased up to 40%, subject to prior authorization by the competent authority, in which cases, when a major extension to the farm is undertaken, when a breed is changed, when a new livestock specialization is initiated, and when breeds are in danger of being lost to farming. A renovation of uh, apiaries. 10% per year of the queen bees and swarms may be replaced by non-organic queen bees and swarms in the organic production unit, provided that the queen bees and swarms are placed in heaves with combs or 
calm foundation coming from organic production units. Section 2, Livestock Housing and Husbandry uh, Practices. Article 10, Rules Pertaining to Housing Conditions. The article provides details about how to manage animal housing, methods to ensure air circulation, dust level, temperature, light, stocking density for well-being of animals, taking into account behavioral needs and depending also on the species, breed and the age of the animal. Density uh, is equal with a sufficient space to stand naturally, lie down easily, turn around, so too easy the movement. Um, for the detailed indication, consult Annex 3, which indicates the minimum surfaces for indoor and outdoor areas, characteristics of housing according to the different species. Uh, here, just to have an idea, I'm presenting the Annex 3, uh, minimum surface areas indoors and outdoors, and other characteristics of housing the different species and types of production refer to Article 10 that I presented in the previous slide. Uh, you can consult it in the Regulation 889 of 2007 that you can download. However, just for an illustration, I'm trying to explain uh, something about uh, this table. So, in this table, in the uh, left, you have uh, the species or the breeding. Then uh, there is uh, in the middle indoors area, which um, uh, present uh, the um, or um, shows uh, limits. Uh, or conditions of uh, uh, um, weight, uh, leave weight minimum, and the corresponding uh, area that has to be uh, minimum uh, area that has to be at the animal disposal. And uh, on the right side, there is outdoors area for each uh, animal. So, um, considering, for example, breeding a fettering bovine and Equida, um, you have, for example, up to 100 kilograms indoors uh, surface uh, square meters per head has to be minimum 1.5 meters, up to 202.5 meters, up to 350 uh, minimum 4 uh, square meters per head, and over 350 kilograms. Uh, there is five uh, square meters minimum uh, for head, but however, if it is um, heavier or higher weight, uh, the minimum is uh, one square meters in this case per 100 kilograms. The outdoor area is uh, respectively 1.1 uh, square meters per head, then 1.9. 3 uh, and 3.7 minimum and so on for other animals uh, animals you can see for example dairy cows has to have um, in the indoors six uh, six square meters per head and 4.5 uh, square meters in outdoors bulls and breeding has to have uh, indoors 10 square meters per head and in outdoors 30 square meters per head and so on. you see that uh, depends on the on the species mainly but other characteristics as weight uh, from which then is um, fixed according to regulation the indoor surface and outdoor surface uh, that have at, your, at their disposal. Um, article 11, specific housing conditions and husband practice for, mama, for mamans. Indication for the comfort of the animals such as uh, smooth floors, clean and dry rest areas, sufficient size, the composition of the litter, after the age of one week, no more individual boxes for calves. 
uh, souls to be kept in groups except in the last stages of pregnancy and during the suckling period. Beetle piglets shall not kept on flat decks or in piglet cages. Article 12, specific housing conditions and husbandry practices for poultry. So for poultry, no cages, waterfall, uh, waterfall shall have access to a stream, pond, lake or pool whenever the weather and hygienic conditions are permitted. Conditions and type of the buildings. So it um, fixes the floor conditions for laying hands, size of perches, a number of exit and turn tip pop holes, easy access to open areas, specific number of animals for each poultry house following their categories, and uh, minimum age at slaughter. Where slow growing poultry strains are not used by the operator, the following minimum age at slaughter shall be. 81 days for chickens, 150 days for uh, capons, uh, 49 days for pecking dogs, 70 days for mean, uh, female Muscovy dogs, uh, 84 days for male Muscovy dogs, 92 days for Malar dogs, 94 days for Guinea fowl, 140 days for male turkeys and roasting geese, and um, 100 days for female turkeys. The competent authority shall define the criteria of slow growing strains or draw up a list thereof and provide this information to operators, other main states, and to the condition. However, not all these species we can uh, grow in our uh, countries, in our areas. This regulation is done. Um, is done considering the um, other species that um, probably are not grown and um, uh, not managed in our areas, but they are in other areas where they find the perfect conditions. Uh, here in this table, which is refer to annex of regulation 889 uh, of 2007 i uh, have uh, limits are uh, regarding indoors area and outdoors areas for different species and different um, objectives for uh, keeping keeping or growing uh, different species of poultry um, so, just to have an uh, example, laying hands, number, number of animals for square meters is six as a limit, not more than six. Um, centimeter for animal is 18. Uh, regarding the nest, uh, seven laying hands for nest, or in case of common nest, 120 square centimeters uh, for bird. Regarding all outdoors area, uh, so square meters of area available uh, for head, uh, four meters provided that the limit of 170 kilograms uh, of nitrogen per hectare per year is not exceeded. And so on for other uh, species. You can see it in uh, annex of uh, regulation 889 of 2007 as i explained that you will have um you can download or you can uh, find it in the regulation that i uh, have put in the in this uh, in this lecture <laughs> sorry Article 13, specific requirements and housing conditions in beekeeping. Um, it is important the place or the area where they are seated, the apiaries. Um, it is a radius of three kilometers at least uh, in an area where no contamination, sources of, of contamination exist, industry, wastes, uh, or 
intensive agriculture. Gifts of natural materials. These rugs for new foundation must be organic. Use of natural products only in the hives, like propolis, wax, plant oils. No use of synthetic chemicals or repellents during honey extraction operations. And the use of brood combs is prohibited for honey extraction. Article 14. Access to open air areas. Open air areas may be partially covered. Herbivores must have access to pasturage for grazing, except in winter if they are free to move inside the stables. Poultry. Open air for at least one third of their life. Open air areas for poultry shall be mainly covered with vegetation and be provided with protective facilities and permit fall to have easy access to adequate numbers of drinking and feeding troughs. Where poultry are kept indoors due to restriction or obligation imposed on the basis of community legislation, they shall permanently have access to sufficient quantities of roughage and sustain and suitable material in order to meet their ethological needs. Article 15. Stocking density. The total stocking density shall be such as not exceed the limit of 170 kg of nitrogen per year and hectare of agricultural area. Maximum number of animals per hectare, there is Annex 4, to determine the appropriate density of livestock. Article 16 deals with prohibi prohibition of landless livestock production. So, according to this, uh, it is prohibition of landless livestock production. Annex 4. Maximum. Maximum number of animals per hectare referred to in Article 15. And you have the maximum number of animals per hectare, which are equivalent to 170 kilograms nitrogen per hectare per year. For example, equines over six months old, they are allowed two maximum animals per hectare. Calves for fattening, five. Other bovine animals less than one year old, five per hectare. Male bovine animals from one to less than two years old, 3.3. Female bovine animals from one to less than two years old, 3.3. Male bo bovine animals two years old or over two animals per hectare. Um, uh, breeding. Uh, uh, hyphers, uh, hyphers for fattening, uh, they are allowed 2.5 uh, heads per hectare. Dairy cows, two. Uh, cool uh, dairy cows, there are two. Other cows um, are 2.5. And female breeding rabbits are allowed 100 heads per hectare. Uh, here we have maximum number of animals per hectare referred to article again 15 uh, paragraph 2 and you have other animals you have um, so another list which um, as I explained previously you can find in the annexes of regulation 889 of 2008 article 17 Simultaneous production of organic and non-organic livestock. So it is in the case when we have parallel production. Non-organic livestock may be present on the holding, provided that they are reared on units where the buildings and parcels are separated clearly from the units producing in, offer in accordance with the organic production rules and uh, different species is involved. So. If you understood in this case, we can have, let's say, parallel production. It is important they have to be in separated units and they have to have different species. So the non-organic one has not to have the same species of organic one, even they are separated. 
non-organic livestock may use organic pasturage for a limited period of time each year, provided that organic animals are not present at the same time on that pasture. Any livestock products from organic animals whilst using this land shall not be regarded as being from organic production unless adequate segregation from non-organic animals can be provided. So, for example, if the uh, non-organic animals, uh, animals have grazed in the same area before the organic animals go there, then the production that comes from the organic animals will not be sold as organic unless adequate segregation from non-organic animals can be provided, so if they are even um, separated. Indication of how organic animals may be grazed on common non-organic land and also what they have to do in case of transhumance shall not exceed 10% of the total feed operation per year. Article 18. Management of animals. No provision that may cause suffering to animals, such as attaching elastic bands to the tails of sheep, tail docking, cutting of teeth, trimming of beaks, dehorning, and, and etc. However, some of these operations may be authorized by the competent authority for reason of safety or if they are intended to improve the health, welfare or hygiene of the livestock on a case-by-case -case basis. Suffering to the animals shall be reduced to a minimum by applying adequate anesthesia and uh, or analgesia. Question. Physical castration? Mutilation such as clipping the wings of queen bees is prohibited. How to manage loading and unloading without the use of any type of electrical simulation to coerce the animals? The use of allopathic tranquilizer, uh, tranquilizers prior to or during transport is prohibited. Section 3. Article 19. Feed from own holding and other sources. 50% of the feed for herbivores feed, 20% for pigs and poultry, shall come from the farm unit itself or in case this is not feasible, be produced in cooperation with other organic farms in the same region. Bees leave enough honey and pollen to survive during the winter and the feeding of bee colonies shall only be permitted where the survival of the hives is endangered. Feed with organic honey, organic sugar syrups, uh, or organic sugar. So these are allowed, these last ones are allowed only in cases where the, when the survival of the hives is endangered. Article 20, feed meeting animals' nutritional requirements. Um, it is, according to the regulation, has to be maternal milk for young mama, mammals. At least of three months for bovines, including uh, bobulus and bison species, and at least uh, 45 days for sheep and goats and 40 days for pigs. At least 60% of the dry mentoring daily rations on, of herbivores shall consist of uh, roughage, fresh or dried fodder, or silage. A reduction to 50% for animals in dairy production for a maximum, uh, maximum period of three months in early lactation is allowed. Other indications about rearing herbivores based on maximum use of pasture throughout the year uh, from the other side, just to have to remind that force feeding is forbidden. Article 21 in conversion feed. Up to 30% of the feed formula of ration on average may comprise in conversion feeding stuffs. 
when the in conversion feeding stuffs come from a unit of the holding itself, this percentage may be increased and can go till to 60%. Up to 20% of the total average amount of feeding stuff fed to livestock may originate from the grazing or harvesting of permanent pastures, perennial forage parcels or protein crops sown under organic management on lands in their first year of conversion. When both in conversion feeding stuffs and feeding stuffs from parcels in their first year of conversion, the total combined percentage of such feed stuffs shall not exceed the maximum of 60%. Article 22 Use of certain products and substances in feed. Non organic feed materials of plant and animal origin may be used in organic production subject to the restriction only if they are listed in Annex 5. Non-organic feed materials only if they are produced or prepared without chemicals, solvents or non-organic spices, herbs and molasses if they are unavailable in organic produced or prepared without chemical solvents. Organic feed materials of animal origin, feed materials of mineral origin, products and byproducts from fisheries may be used in organic production and only if they are listed in Annex 5. Feed additives, certain products used in animal nutrition and processing aids may be used in organic production only if they are listed in Annex 6. Feed additives used in, an, in animal nutrition. Sorry for lapses. Find the list of substances which only can be used in the processing of organic feed and feeding organic animals as referring to Article 14, Paragraph 1 of Regulation Number 834 of 2007. Uh, here is um, the example of Annex 5 in the Regulation 889 of 2008. Feed materials refer to Article 22 in the previous slides, Paragraph 1, 2, and 3. Uh, here uh, we are referring to non-organic feed materials of plant origin. And the, the, the first one or the first group is cereals, grains, their products and byproducts. For example, oats as grains, flakes, middlings, holes and bran, barley as grains, protein and middlings, rice germ expeller, millet as grains, ray as grains and middlings, sorghum as grains, and so on. So, uh, however, you can consult it freely in the annex. Uh, I, I'm not going to mention and to read everything here. Let's go to the next slide. Uh, the second group is oil seeds, oil fruits, their products and byproducts like rapeseed, expiller and hulls, soya bean as bean, toasted expiller and hulls, sunflower, cotton, linseed, sesame, palm, Pumpkin seed, olives, olive pulp, vegetable oils from physical extraction. Uh, to try to memorize them and to use in a practical uh, everyday life, you have to go and to try to memorize them in the annex, uh, which is to the, to the um, regulation 889 of uh, 2008. The third group is legume seeds, their product and byproducts like chickpeas as seeds, middlings and bran, ervil as seeds, uh, middlings and bran, clicking veg, uh, peas, uh, broad beans, horse beans, veggies, uh, lupine, uh, with uh, their respective forms, how they are allowed to be used. 
and you have two other groups here uh, tuber roots uh, their products and byproducts and other seeds and fruits uh, fruits their products and byproducts and in tubers we have sugar beet potato sweet potato potato pulp potato starch potato protein uh, manioc in uh, other seeds and fruits we have carob carob pods and meals thereof pumpkins, citrus, pulp, apples, quinces, pears, peaches, figs, grapes, and pulps are also there is a huge list, chestnuts, walnuts, uh, hazelnuts, cocoa husks, and uh, acorn. The sixth group is forages and uh, rough edges. Lucerne, lucerne meal, clover, clover meal, grass, grass meal, hay, silage, straw and of cereals root vegetables for foraging. Um, the seventh group, other plants, their products and byproducts like molassa, seaweed meal, powders and extracts of plants, plant protein extracts, spices and herbs. Uh, okay, um, now we have um, here presented the feed materials of animal origin. Till um, the, the previous slide, we were listing different groups of uh, materials of plant origin. Uh, now, uh, let's present the feed materials of animal origins that are milk and milk products like raw milk, milk powder, skim milk, um, skim milk powder, buttermilk, buttermilk powder, whey, whey powder, and so on, cashew powder, lactose powder, curd and sour milk. A second group of uh, feeds of animal origin are fish, other marine animals, their products and byproducts, uh, like fish, fish oil and, and cod liver oil, not refined, fish, uh, molluscan and prostetion autolysates, hydrolysate and uh, proteolysates obtained by an enzyme action, uh, fish meal, the other, the third group of uh, feeds of animal origin are egg and egg products like egg and egg products for use as poultry feed primarily from the same holding so have to be uh, as a priority has to be from the same holding and not from other uh, holding the uh, third main group uh, there are feed materials of mineral origin and uh, we have listed here sodium, different forms of sodium, potassium, calcium, different forms of calcium, in fact. So let's pass to the next slide. Um, phosphorus. Um, there are different forms within the group of phosphorus, different forms uh, of or substances um, of magnesium, sulfur. And now, Annex 6, uh, there is feed additives and certain substances used as in animal nutrition referred again to the article 22. Now, it is the paragraph 4. Feed additives. Additive listed must have been approved under regulation uh, 1831 of 2003 of the European Parliament and of the Council on Additive for Use in Animal Nutrition. So, uh, let's say we can use uh, uh, additives which uh, are allowed in animal nutrition, independently from the fact in the organic or non-organic um, animal husbandry. Nutritional additives. There are vitamins. Vitamins, different vitamins de derived from raw materials occur naturally in feeding stuffs. Synthetic vitamins, identical to natural vitamins for monogastric animals. 
Synthetic vitamins A, D, and E, identical to natural vitamins for ruminants with prior authorization of the member states, based on the assessment of the possibility for organic ruminants to obtain the necessary quantities of said vitamins through their feed rations. So it needs an authorization. Trace elements, um, they have a specific code. E1, iron, different forms of iron. E2, do, do, sorry, uh, E2, iodine. E3, cobalt. E4, copper. E5, manganese. E6, zinc. E7, molybden. Uh, E8, selenium. And then uh, let's go to the zootechnical additives, which are enzymes and microorganisms. Technological additives, different preservatives. So here are uh, included different um, substances. For example, uh, first group, there are preservatives, and they have respective their respective code, like E200. E236, E260, um, E270, E280, E330. Um, so, and you have in the right side, side uh, which is the name of substances. Antioxidant substances, uh, binders and anti caking agent, silage. Uh, additives that are enzymes, yeast, and bacteria. Um, so, however, I don't want to lose your time and interest listing because um, this, uh, the best thing is you study directly in the regulation. So, this was just a presentation. Uh, 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 how to say a general orientation but the best thing is that you study and read the annexes and the other regulation uh, the list of uh, additives are continuous uh, we have uh, <clears throat> uh, another big group certain substances used in animal nutrition uh, yeast in this case, we have different yeasts like Saccharomyces caravisa uh, and Saccharomyces uh, carlsbergensis. Substances for silage production, sea salt, parser of salt, we weigh uh, sugar, sugar beet pulp, um, cereal flour, and molasses. I will conclude uh, here this part of the lecture. Even the lecture has, is not completed. But for space reason and the um, heaviness of the video, I am obliged to do uh, or to divide the lecture in smaller uh, parts or smaller pieces. See you the next time. Have a good study. Bye bye.